Hi all, thanks for stopping by and uh, joining me on my journey into digital art. I've been quite uh, excited about it, the way it's gone so far. Um, I only bought the iPad at Christmas and I didn't expect it to go so well. So there's no way I should be going back to traditional art anytime soon. Um, the digital art suits me in more than one way. Anyhow, I started this Clematis painting last week and I touched on the use of stamp brushes. Um, I won't go tell you how to make them because there's plenty of tutorials on the net to do, to do with that. Um, but I found that making stamp brushes was interesting in its own right, um, but they're very useful. Here are four I made. The first one's a bud, the Clematis bud. The next one was, I did a signature, but I don't like it. I shall do myself another one sooner or later. The Clematis flower itself. And then I thought I'd do the centre of a Clematis flower as a separate brush. Um, so as I can change the colours and the size and whatever. So here I am getting into the main painting. And you'll be seeing shortly, here they come. There's the flowers, the leaves, the buds. They're all, I've put them all over the painting. The um, video doesn't show how I rearranged them. They were all over the place to start off with, but, but slowly I put them into positions until I got them looking something how I would like them. And I finished up with a, a reasonable composition. Um, I do move one or two of them a little bit later on, but to start off with, that's that's the way... I started the painting and it, it um, started to come out pretty well. I started in the top left hand corner. That's a legacy from the days when I used to do pencil drawings. Because if you didn't, you'd be smudging the pencil everywhere. So I always start top left hand corner. Um, having said that, you can do quite a bit of smudging in digital art if you like. When you're resizing and putting your pencil down... Um, you get smudges and lines all over the place. So if every now and again you see nothing up or looks like nothing is happening in the painting, it's because I'm probably rubbing out some bit of uh, paint or a smudge that got where it shouldn't have done. So here you can see that I'm painting it slowly but surely from the top. I've um, put in, in tendrils as I go. Those are done with a straightforward green line, yellow yellow stripe up the left hand side and a darker stripe on the right to make it look cylindrical. I'll have to put, get some new teeth. So and now I'm doing the flowers. The way I tackled that was to do a basic light pink shape, then use a textured brush with white to give it some white texture. Then I used a darker pink to put in the lines to make it look like a clematis. Um, the centre, on the first one, I painted it by hand um, to see how it went. But it was all right. But then I decided after that I'd use the stamp brush. And you can see here on the next one that I stamp it with one colour. Then I stamp it with some white. Then I stamp it again a different size with some green. And to all intents and purposes, it looks like I painted it. But it was a hell of a lot quicker than doing it each one by hand. And it made it a lot more uniform. And talking of uniformity, that's what happens with the stamp brushes. I don't use the stamp brush as a brush per se, more just to give me an outline. And I use the same system with each leaf. I paint it in a light green, then I put in a yellow, the yellow veins, then I shape the leaf by painting black around it to make it give it some sort of a realistic shape then I put in the dark shadows and then the highlights and you finish up with a, a decentish looking leaf I may do a video on just the details of doing the leaf um, in my next video so here you can see now that I'm coming pretty close to the end I've got a bud and a couple of leaves and uh, you'll actually see in a minute that I move the bud over because it's in the wrong place. There's nowhere for it to hang from. So I move it over to the right and then it's got somewhere it can go to. And then there's another tendril 
and uh, another couple of leaves just to block in that bottom right hand corner. Um, in my sort of paintings, the images I do, the blank space is as important as the image itself. So I, I like to make sure that it's all filled in and looking reasonably good. So there you have it. Um, I've enjoyed doing this painting. Um, I hope you have. If you have, please subscribe. Um, and you'll get notified when I do another one, which shouldn't be long away. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm hoping to do some more soon. Um, thank you very much.